Welcome to the Dreamers Hub podcast. This podcast is about collaboration between the dreamers and the doers to inspire more people to do more of the things that they enjoy doing. This hub is focused on providing you the kick in the ass you need to jumpstart your dreams. So if you're into that kind of thing, consider subscribing. Yo, 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 welcome back to the Dreamers Hub podcast. Today, we're in a little bit of a different setup. We are actually in one of Jasper's offices out of the many offices that he has upstairs. <laughs> one of many. <laughs> yeah, one of many. Um, so we are currently out in Las Vegas, uh, and we basically linked up to be able to create content, obviously, in person and also do stuff for the podcast, uh, creating merch and some back end stuff. So uh, keep an eye out for that because it is coming fairly soon or by the time you listen to this, it's probably already out. Um, but as far as today's topic, um, we are going to be talking about normalizing internet friends and relationships. Yes. So uh, we kind of wanted to get into it because we basically met on the internet via a yeah. mutual friend. Yeah. Um, shoot, like five, six years ago, maybe. I want to say probably a little bit longer than that if I yeah. Probably, yeah it's years. been it's been a long time yeah. now i know for most people meeting people on the internet sounds kind of weird um but realistically i think it's kind of like the new wave now like you kind of you kind of i don't know like that's that the, how most people meet nowadays um pre-pandemic um <laughs> maybe even now like more effective during the pandemic people are yeah. trying to find their tribe online basically we wanted to get into basically how this came about and how you can maybe initiate meeting friends, right? Um, this is not on no like thirst trap bullshit. This is more of like meeting friends that you want to connect with and just building relationships online. And so I think I, I've uh, told you before as far as like uh, how you initiate it, being an extrovert and you're an introvert, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, how I would initiate most of my uh, friendships online is just by sliding in the DMs in a non creepy way, creepy way. <laughs> yeah. In a non creepy way, but being able to basically just spark up a conversation with anybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then it kind of starts organically. So it's, it's more so like, Hey, you maybe send a fire emoji to something that they post, or yeah. maybe you send, I don't know, like shit, that's dope. Or, you know what I mean? Like you kind of yeah. initiate the conversation that way. That's how I've done it. Um, and again, it's not on some like thirst trap shit. It's just you showing genuine appreciation for what that yeah. person is posting mm -hmm. um, for me. Have you had any success besides me and you, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, meeting other people online. Or how do you feel about? Well, n what do you mean? Like as far as like meeting in person or just meeting? No, just online? creating relationships friends. or friendships. Yeah. Online, I yeah. mean, networking online has been easier. Like you said, I'm an introvert. So that's how I connect with people. I don't do people outside in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's always been easier for me to be myself behind, like, the phone, computer, and not in, like, a weird, like, catfish way, but it's just I'm more comfortable that way. Yeah. Because I don't really, I know for extroverts, you guys get, like, regain energy from being social, like, in real. Yes. Life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm not like that. I recharge by being alone and... And that's how I create networking through online. I've always done it since back in the AIM days. AIM. Oh, my God. Did you ever have a uh, messenger? Hotmail messenger? That I, was before AIM. I never AIM. used that. No. That was, yeah, you had a at Hotmail type of email. I had a Mes Hotmail, but I don't think I ever used the messenger. Yeah, they had messenger. And then AIM came about. Oh. And then the sidekick came about. Mm, sidekick, yeah. That's how I've always met people online. Online. Yeah. Through, through the aim, pretty much. Yeah, I think it's pretty interesting to see that, like, I think some people now feel a little bit more comfortable with creating internet friends or whatnot, mm -hmm. uh, because it's not always, like, around you locally, right? So mm -hmm. I think one of the reasons why people reach out, or when I, I reach out most of the time, is because I feel like that person, in a weird way, uh, we align on certain things, so, mm -hmm. like, I, I can fuck with somebody via online based on what they're posting and kind of based off how you feel them out. Now, I'm not saying, like, you add somebody and immediately I'm, like, DMing that person yeah. or, like, hey, what's up? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm saying, like, gradually throughout the years of, get, like, seeing what that person's about and mm -hmm. you can kind of get an idea of what that person's about and kind of, like, feel out their energies. Mm -hmm. 
to mm-hmm. see if like you're really gonna vibe. Yeah. Should it ever come about that you come across them, mm-hmm. or you know, maybe you collaborate with some things, then at that point, you know, that that'd be something different. But that would be my general like suggestion for people is like you've probably been following and vice versa with other people for a very long time, and sometimes you can admire people from afar, mm-hmm. and then. For me, it's like, well, why don't you ever, like, reach out to that person? Like, you guys are about the same shit. Like, you guys should reach out to each other and, like, chat. I think there's, like, a fear when it comes to that, at least for me. Mm-hmm. Like, I know for you, it's probably easier. You're just like, hey, what's up? But, but for me, I, like, overthink because I'm an introvert. I don't know. Maybe that's just my own shit. Like, I mean, it is easy. Like you said, just send a emoji. Send or that fire emoji. Yeah. I'm telling you the fire emoji. I mean, I'll try that and see what <laughs> happens. But, um. But yeah, I think when it comes to like collabing and stuff, it's just like the timing, timing of things yeah. and just the mutual agreement. Like if we're, I mean, for us, it's like we started vibing and then we collab and like, and here we are today. We're doing all this shit together. Right. Can you cuss? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we're doing all this shit together now. It's like a, like we both just keep vibing and just build off of each other's energy. Yeah. And it's mutual. Like if today say like I wasn't as ambitious or motivated and you're coming in um, at me like let's collab and i'm like mm, then that's like kind of like push back yeah no yeah. that's true timing is a big thing too i think yeah. and obviously everybody's going through their um you know their own journeys and stuff and mm-hmm. kind of where they're at in life and sometimes the energy i'm bringing to the world does not align with other people so if mm-hmm. your energy wasn't aligned with what the fuck i'm doing right now mm-hmm. like this probably wouldn't be happening for one yeah, but yeah in the case that, let's say, for those listening, in the case that you do follow somebody that you admire or at some point you would uh, like to meet in, like, a friend zone type thing, like, I feel like it's... I feel like... Well, I keep saying that because I feel like a lot of people think of DMs in, like, a very, like, thirst trappy way. A uh, hookup. And like a hookup yeah. type. And for me, it's not. It's not that. It's yeah. never been that. It's mm-hmm. more of, like, yo, what's up? Like, what, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it's... It's like that. And it's more of like an admiration for people that I do follow. Mm-hmm. I will say that a lot of the people that I follow are in some in some way or form, like I feel like on a, you know, on whatever, whatever level they're on, they're bringing me something to like provide me certain things. Like, mm-hmm. you know, some people post like quotes, some people post yeah. videos, some people post motivational stuff, some people post like fitness stuff. So yeah. depending on like who it is, Everybody, I think, gives me a different energy, mm-hmm. and I'm able to like pick and choose depending on how I'm feeling on that day, and that helps me out a lot. Yeah, that helps me get through my day because sometimes I'm not having such a good day. Mm. So sometimes you posting something mm-hmm. motivational, I'm like, yeah, that's right. And um, what sparked um, in my thought process right now when you're talking is just it's like time. It goes back to timing, right? Because we've been following each other for about six years, and it's like now we both are at like. You know, like crossroads. Yeah, like this <laughs> is where we cross now because now six years ago we were on a different path and now we're like it's aligned now. And this yeah. is why this collab is happening now. Yeah. Right. So it's kinda cool to see the growth in people that you follow and then eventually you do link up. You could have been from like opposites and oh, then yeah. you come together like, Oh fuck, like six years ago six years ago we were doing different shit and now it's like six years later it's like fuck, we're on the same path. Seriously. Isn't that the trip? I think yeah. that's a trip. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, super, super cool. And I think it's it's like a beautiful thing that it happens organically, too. Yeah, and it's not forced. It's, it's not, not like forced. Yeah. yeah. And you got to be able to feel people's energy. I don't, I don't yeah. care what nobody says. Like, you, there is an energy about everybody. Like, you know, when somebody has a bad vibe, like, nah, man, you that ain't stay, it. Yeah, like, you stay away. Stay away. Yeah. Stay away from it. And, I mean... For the most part, I think that most people that I follow or that I tried to like, you know, revolve myself around or bring some kind of like some kind of energy mm-hmm. to me that I, I feel like I need or that brings me joy or brings mm-hmm. me entertainment or brings me, you know, something mm-hmm. of value. Um, and I can appreciate people from afar in a non creeper way. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> in a non creeper way. Like I keep saying yeah. that, but it's, it's true. Like so most people think that DMs are super creepy. Mm. but also realize that there's people out there just trying to connect just like you. And I think there's a lot of value knowing that the internet has somebody that fucks with you. Yeah. And they, I mean, they can live anywhere in the world. That's insane. That's yeah. That's, I think that's really crazy, but that's like, 
where the best friendships can come from. Yeah, yeah. And like you said, it's not forced. Like, it just happens naturally. And that's when you know it's, like, legit. Because if you're forcing it. And you can tell, too. Yeah. Like, like how we're vibing, we help push one another to level up. Yeah. And those are, like, the best yeah. friendships. I think that that can be, well, one, social media can be a cool thing where you can find that vibe mm-hmm. um, and also a downfall because if I'm following a bunch of negative people that are posting all their drama online and flashy mm-hmm. shit and mm-hmm. it, cr- it creates this like stress. Yeah. Like, and, and that's, for, I think that's for everybody. Like the stress that comes with trying to live up to quote unquote, your Instagram name or your Instagram life. Like I get it. Most people post like, mm-hmm. you know, they're, highlight reel of the best moments and good on you. Like you should be able to like any achievements that you should be proud of that Mm -hmm. for sure. Um, there's a, there's a fine line though of like faking the funk. And then there's like that, like, you know, you're proud of what you're doing. So you're Mm -hmm. posting it and sharing it. And I think that's where people can really filter out. Like Mm -hmm. this person's really about what they say they are. And vice, you know, the Mm -hmm. opposite of that, that you're not what you say you are. I think, I want to say majority of people, I think we all know, we can tell. Like, we're not all easily bought. Yeah. And um, and if you are, like, you're in it, I don't know. For It's also yourself, right? If you consume that kind of stuff. Yeah. You got to be, yeah, you got to be really mindful also of who you're following. Because it can't, like, it subconsciously does affect, like, your moods. Mm -hmm. Um, it could affect just like your mental health, your mental health a Mm -hmm. lot. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where the pro comes in is that if you're in a shitty mind state, like you can look to some kind of social media or the internet to find like a pick me up. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you're in a shitty mind state, you can also find that too. You know what I mean? (laughs) (laughs) Like that's, that's going to be there. Like, so be mindful of the people that you're following too, because It really does matter. Be mindful of who you're following and also be mindful of what you're liking and what you're scrolling through. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know if you know this, but the algorithm, what you're liking, what you're scrolling through is what it's going to continuously show you so you could stay on the app longer. That's how it works. Mm. So if you like a pair of sunglasses, that motherfucker is going to keep showing up for the next month until you buy it. Now that you said sunglasses, watch, I'm going to have that in my (laughs) feed. (laughs) Sometimes I feel like you could think it and it's going to start showing up on your feed. It's scary. Yeah, it's scary. It's scary. I was going to go back to saying, um, you know, like that saying people say, like, your vibe attracts your tribe. Yes. So I think that's like depending on what you put out, too. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you're faking the funk thing, you're going to attract fake people, too. I feel like. Yeah, I'm not about that life. I'm not either. That's too much. But <laughs> coming back to... um. <laughs> That real friendships can form. Online. Oh, for sure. I think the fact that um, you know we were talking about mental health, like yeah, it it that's one of the pros that like you don't have to feel lonely because there is somebody out there um, that will fuck with you, that'll help you, that will you know will have that. There is a friend out there somewhere that matches your energy, that's willing mm-hmm. to be patient with you, maybe willing to help you out with whatever. Like there's there are those people you got to put yourself out enough. Yeah. To meet those people. Mm-hmm. And and that's where like sliding into the DM might come mm-hmm. in, you know, like depending on what that person is posting, like that's when you know, like, oh shit, like if it's something that you really want to touch on, you really will reach out to that person. Yeah. And I will say if you double like if you, you know, think overthink the situation, yeah. then that connection maybe will never eventually happen. But I do feel like you people should make an effort to like reach out to people because you really never know what people are going through. And sometimes people are following you because they are looking for that motivation. They might not Mm -hmm. always say it. They might not always say it. They might not always reach out. They might not always say anything really, but just know that people are watching and what people follow you for a certain reason, what that reason and what type of value you bring to Mm -hmm. them can be completely like, 
you know, opposite. I don't know. It can be whatever. It can be whatever you're bringing to them, but you're bringing them some type of value, and that's why people follow you. That's why I follow certain people. Yeah. They bring some type of value or whatever to me. Um, and so I want to encourage people to continue posting whatever you're working on if you're working on yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, because I do know that also that there is negative people, and there's a lot of trolling online, which is oh. unfortunate because it's part of having the pros of yeah. of the internet. But... Like, there's a lot of trolling and there's, you know, like, cyberbullying or whatever. And people just talking shit because they are behind a computer. And Keyboard warriors. <laughs> so, <laughs> I feel like so sometimes people get those messages and, like, to discourage people from posting are like, oh, okay, we get it, you're working out. Or, like, okay, we get it, like, you're doing this. Like. That's them, not you. Yeah, like. That's their shit. For one, fuck those people. But, yeah. two, like. Whatever you're doing should never bother somebody else that much. You should not be that important enough where they are willing, more willing to sh- shoot you negativity than hit you with positivity. Because mm. it says more about them. Yeah, it's super. It's them projecting pretty much. Yeah, and that's hard though, because nobody likes to take negativity. Nobody wants to hear. No, not necessarily. There, there's know. a thing with constructive criticism and, like, feedback. Yeah. And then there's just fucking rude people online. <laughs> so you got to be there's able to filter. Th- yeah. You, you got to be able to filter those out. But And you also have to figure out, like. Whoever you reach out, like, you'll know. Like, if you feel like you're forcing the conversation, that's probably not the right person. Yeah. Not, not your friend. And yeah. then if they ever make you feel some type of way, that's not your friend. Like you said, it goes back to organically and mutually just like if one of us was kind of off, then we probably wouldn't be sitting here today. Yeah, for sure. I think it's just I don't know. Like you just you, you just, just know. know. Yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> you, you just, just know, know <laughs> like who is your people like and it, especially like keep the ones that help you um, with no strings attached and that just levels you up. Oh, Yeah. Yeah. Because there are those that are like, I did this for you. Now I want something in return. Not your people. Definitely not it. But yeah, that's a big one too. Yeah. Yeah, that's not it. There's a lot of fucking scammers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, all this to say for you guys listening, don't be scared to reach out to people. Follow the right people. Mm-hmm. And I encourage you to reach out to people to sh- you know that, that are providing you some type of value in whatever mm-hmm. way possible. Um, you know, to let you get by, um, and don't think that you're alone also, because I think you're only lonely if you want to be lonely. It's only awkward too, if you make it awkward. That's true. Yeah. So don't make it awkward. Don't make it a thirst trap. Don't make it creepy. Send the fire emoji. Don't make fetch happen. (laughs) If it's not meant to be. No. Yeah, for sure. (laughs) Yeah. Um, all right, y'all. Yeah. Well, I, I think that's it for this episode. I hope you guys got some value out of this episode. I appreciate you guys listening. Make sure to subscribe to Apple Podcasts and like on Apple Podcasts. This will be up on the YouTube channel as well. Thank you, Jasper, for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming. This was awesome. Yeah, right? We got yeah. a lot done. We got a lot done, guys. <laughs> Get out there and make your internet friends, y'all. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate y'all. Peace. Bye. Now hold up, before we part ways, I want to thank you for listening in. I'd appreciate you helping me inspire others like yourself by simply sharing this podcast with a friend. While you're at it, if you found value in this podcast, I'd love for you to rate it on Apple Podcasts. Be sure to tune in for more inspirational content next week.